Hey guys, so I've just woken up and I have to go to work today at some point so I just thought I'd film a quick and easy makeup tutorial as my um, as my um, friend at work recently saw one of my videos and said she actually really liked my little makeup tutorial so <clears throat> sorry I've just woken up so my voice is all funny but I'm just going to do a really quick one um, for you now so I'm going to get into it first I'm going to use my Boots Gentle Eye Cream which I've just got, I'm just trying out because I've never used an eye cream before. But you don't need a lot, just a tiny little bit. Just gonna pat that on there. I used my um, new Bioderma. Oh, I've finally got it, the cleansing water everyone talks about. Um, my youngest sister went to France for three weeks with her friend and bought it back for me, so I'm very happy about that. <clears throat> I'm probably going to do a little trial and review against my um, Superdrug one that I put in my mini haul the other week. I'm probably going to put that on there. Okay, I'm going to be using my Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation on my Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques because this is what I always, always use. I'm just going to dot it on my face first. I don't know if you can see this. As I do not have the best of camera slash lighting slash anything. I'm just going to blend that in. Looking forward bits you can see. I really like this foundation. At first I thought I bought the wrong colour because if you don't blend it out really well, it can it can come across quite dark. But um I've used it a lot now and I actually really like it and as long as you don't put too much on and you blend it, it's fine. And this is in uh, 52 vanilla. I'm going to do my jawline. I don't wear a lot of makeup to work because I work in a Starbucks um, in the Leaves and Harry Potter tour and to be honest, once you get in there and the steam's going and the coffee machine's going and you're running around, unless you've got a seriously strong foundation which I might you know I might try that out actually because it might be worth it it's going to come off so I don't really bother okay <clears throat> I'm then going to use my um, new bourgeois bronzing primer under underneath on top before I powder because otherwise if I powder it's going to end up um, not looking particularly great I'm slightly contouring with this but not really it's more going on the cheekbone just as a kind of bronze just a bit maybe look a bit more healthy and tanned as well the lighting in work's really really harsh for some reason and I come across quite um weird coloured <laughs> in the light so I'm just gonna blend that all in it's just to add a little bit of colour a tiny bit of shape it's a really lovely product though, I actually really really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it this much and I really do, so. Oh. I wish I had a HD camera to record in. Oh, my sister's... Since my youngest sister came home from France, I also seem to have lost a hell of a lot of my products. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> brush, brush, brush. Oh, I lost it. Oh! Found it. Real Techniques Crease Brush and the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer in the same shade as the foundation. So I figured that's probably a good way to go. Normally I use my collection, um, is it Lasting Perfection Concealer? Because it's slightly lighter, but I use this today. This I find slightly easier to work with. Not much easier to work with, but slightly easier to work with than the... Um, Collection 2000 or Collection 1, sorry it's not Collection 2000. Just because it's slightly more creamy but to be honest this was I think maybe £3 more than the Collection 2000 so I mean you probably get what you pay for I'd imagine. Okay so I've done the under eyes. Oh so hard on my under eyes, I need to get some gel to take down the puffiness in the morning but it's coming across a lot puffy, I think, on camera than it is in real life. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly dot that on the rest of my face where I need it. Boop. 
Zoom that out. Okay, so I have infected my skin now. I'm now going to set with my very broken Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Ooh. Youngest sister attack again. Okay, and I like to use this big fluffy kind of dense brush and it's from um, Gold, which is the makeup brand that New Look have. I know. It's supposed to be fat for you there. New Look do makeup. Gosh, the lighting really isn't good for a makeup tutorial. Let me put this light on and see if it helps. <laughs> and I tend to put that everywhere if I've got to go to work because if I want any chance of my makeup staying if this doesn't hold it I don't know what's going to hold it ok then for blusher I'm going to be using my where is it? number 17 blusher which has become my go to blusher for the summer I've had it forever and never really used it because it's so bright but that's not really helping either. It's the number 17 blusher in first flush. It's very, very hot pink, but it doesn't come out a hot pink, so don't be scared of the colour. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. stipple brush, which, yes, I know it is pink. I cannot get the pink off of it. I have tried. I'll take a bit off the back of my hand. Just pop it on the apples. Just gives a very subtle pink. Pink glow. Nothing too much. Just on the apples of the cheeks. And I'm just going to quickly stipple over that with the foundation brush just to soften it. We don't want much on there. I'll be serving coffee with polka dot red cheeks. Okay. I'm finally going to go in with a bit of my sugar bomb for the face, which is sort of a highlighting slash bronzing slash, I don't know, a bit of powder <laughs> from Benefit. Looks like this. Oh, flipping camera. I'm just going to really lightly dust that over where I've bronzed and just chin and neck a little bit. Just so it all matches. Pop a tiny bit across the nose with my contour brush. I just think it looks really pretty with a little flush across there. Okay, now moving on to the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going to be using my um, an old a palette I've had for a while. I bought it with a um, voucher offer last summer, and it is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. I think it's volume five, but I could be wrong. That's what it looks like. I'm currently don't have any of the Urban Decay palettes. I really want the Naked palettes, but it's, I've just never got around to buying them. I know that Sin is from the um, Naked palette, but I don't know about any of the others. This one's baked, but I'm pretty sure the one in the Naked palette's half baked. But anyway, I'm going to be using Sin all over the lid, and either Bust or Missionary, I'll tell you which one, for the inner, um, you know, for the crease. And I'm just going to use my big, fluffy hacker hody brush for sin sin's a beautiful colour I wonder if it's similar to any of the matte colours probably something like patina but anyway I'm just gonna you can see how gorgeous and sheeny it is I'm just gonna pop that onto the lids shouldn't need too much of sin but it's just gorgeous I really love it Maybe this one like, maybe Patina from MAC, or um, Naked Lunch maybe, might be similar, I'm not sure, but just all over the lid. And I'm going to be using this little sort of accent brush, um, it's a fake MAC 214, that my friend gave me this big kit um, just before Christmas. And um, I don't think they're real. So I'm going to use missionary, I've decided, through the crease. 
This is probably a really weird brush to use for the crease. I'm pretty sure most people probably wouldn't use this brush for the crease, but I find it fits in there nicely. I don't see why you should have to use particular colours for the crease. I don't know. Maybe I'm not qualified to say that. Colours brushes. Now I actually feel like that hasn't given much more definition, so I'm going to add what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Mac Amiga, which I used to use for my eyebrows when I was blonde, but I don't want to waste the little palette and everything. I don't want to waste the product. I'll probably use it on other people when I do other people's makeup. I'm just going to use a little bit of that instead. There we go. It's a bit more of a matte. It's, it's, a, matte, it's a matte brown shade, so that's better. Give a little extra, a little extra definition there. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of that under as well. I have to keep everything natural for work. We're not supposed to wear, you know, earrings, nail varnish, all that jazz. Standard health and safety things that we have. Um, yep, yeah. and then I'm just going to use a pencil I brought the other day, which was recommended to me from one of my work colleagues, Sophie. She actually used to use it on her eyebrows, she told me, but it's way too dark for my eyebrows, but it's a brown eyeliner from Collection, and it is in the colour Birdie Song. It's really, really super soft and lovely, and I'm just gonna gently line my upper lashes. Very gently, I'm not defining or anything there. Just a tiny bit of definition into the lashes. Just think it adds. Okay. I'm then going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to use a new mascara which I've been trying out, which I might do a possibly do a review on because I quite like it. It's the new Mega World Volume um, mascara from Max Factor. And um I just picked it up in boots the other day because I thought, oh, I really need a new mascara. And this one was on offer for $4.95. And I've loved the Max Factor um, False Lash Effect Mascara for many, many years. I've had brown, I've had black, um, and I just I just really like it. So I just thought I'd give it a try. That's what the wand looks like. Reminds me of an Avon mascara I had called Avon Butterfly. Very, very similar to that. Very similar. In fact, yeah, it is a very similar foundation. Um, mascara to that just gives a little fluttery effect, I haven't got long eyelashes unfortunately I was not blessed with long eyelashes and I have a habit of picking mascara off so badly <laughs> it's really really bad <laughs> my friends found me like Emma stop picking your eyelashes Oh, I can't help it like down below if any of you have that problem because I'm pretty sure it's a common one I don't want to be the only one that picks my eyelashes, maybe I'm mental. Oh, I hope that wasn't offensive to anyone. I do have funny tics though, I've always had it. Like blinking excessively, you may have noticed that one, that's a very big one of mine. So I've just very naturally popped some mascara on. I don't want anything too crazy, too big for work, just leave it at that. I'm then going to use my, um, where if I put it, haven't got very organised makeup at the moment, it's all a bit everywhere. Anyway, my number 7 beautiful eyebrow pencil in um, the shade just brown, I believe. Is it brown? Oh, it's on here. Brown, just brown. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Again, softly. Everything about this look is going to be very, very soft. Very, very gentle. So I'm literally only popping the tiniest amount of the pencil on. Just just for very subtle definition, because I feel like once you put your eyebrows on, it sort of pulls all your makeup together. I feel like it's not quite finished without. 
I've only recently started doing it. I never really did anything to my eyebrows before. I just brushed them, combed through them, that was it. So finally, for lips, I'm going to pop on my... I'm going to use that one? Yeah. My Rimmel Thousand Kisses um, Transfer Proof Lip Tint and Balm in the colour Don't Stop Blushing. And I use these at work. Colour. Because then obviously they don't come off. Because as well, I don't get time um, in the day to be re topping up my lipstick. Or gloss, I just don't have time. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And then just seal that with the balm on the end. Okay, so that's it really. It's just my very natural, very simple look. I'm going to try and get rid of some of the lights so you can see it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and you'd like some more, I know this is very a very basic video. I haven't I'm not gonna edit or anything, I'm just gonna whack it on YouTube. But um if you do enjoy my videos, because I'm I've been so happy so many people have been watching my videos, and I don't know if it's just people being nice like my friends, but even if it is, thank you. Um and I'm really, really enjoying making videos and um I hope I can make some more soon. So yeah, leave me a comment or like or subscribe or whatever you want. So yeah. Thank you, bye.